Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is another question which I have received from one of the subscriber. First let me explain what is the question is about, then we will see how to resolve this problem statement using SQL. So the question is, we are provided with a table which contains four column, a column ID, column 1, column 2, column 3. And the expectation is we need to write a query to remove the duplicate values in the same row and then we need to display the comma separated output. For example, in this case, in row 1, there is no duplicate across column 1, column 2, column 3. So we just need to print output as A comma B comma C. In row 2, the value A is duplicated. So we should not display both the A's here. Instead, we should just display A comma B. In row 3, all the three columns are duplicated. That is A is replicated in all the three places. So we just need to display only A. So here is the expected output. So basically, we need to remove the duplicate values in the same row. And then the output should be a comma separated output of the column values. So before I will show how I am going to write the SQL. Let me show you the approach what I am going to follow so that it is very easy for you to follow when writing the SQL. So in this video, we are going to see two different approach and three different implementations. Let us start with the very first approach and this is the logic I am going to follow. So basically what I am going to do, first I am going to start with the column that is splitting the columns into multiple row. So here I am going to take the column 1 and I'm just going to take the ID. So basically ID and column one. So the query is very simple here. Select ID comma column one from table. So this will just return like whatever we are saying here, right? Like first ID column followed by the column one. That is 1A, 2A, 3A, right? The next I'm going to pick the second column. So here also the query is very simple. You will just say select ID comma column two from table. Next, we will take the third column, select ID comma column three from table. Now that we have three different queries, one query to get the column one value, next query to get the column two value, third query to get the column three value. So now the intention is basically to remove the duplicate. For example, if you see here, 3A is here, 3A is here and it's also present here. We need to remove this duplicate. Again. We have, uh, let's say 2A is here and 2A is here. So we need to remove this duplicate. So basically what we can do, we can combine these three select statement output into a single output using union keyword. When we use the union keyword, automatically the duplicates are removed. So if you see after using union, if you see the output would be something like instead of like multiple three A's here, we would be having just one value for three A. Similarly, instead of having two A's here, we will be having just one row for two A. And rest of the things you can see like one A, one B, two B and one C, right? Once we have achieved till this stage and the last stage is very simple. We just need to use a list aggregation which will just convert the uh, values into a comma separated output. Okay. Now let's see how to implement this logic using SQL. Since I have already created the table, let me just drop the table. Table is dropped. I am just creating this table, table T with four column ID, column one, column two, column three. So let me populate the sample data. So informations are populated. Let us commit the data. Let us just query from this table. Yes, all the informations are there. So now let us start writing the logic. So as I mentioned, let us first write three different query ID comma column one. Right. Now let's copy the same. Let's write one more query ID comma column two, basically to get the second set of output. Similarly, let's write one more query ID comma column three to get the third set of output here. Right now, let's just put union 
all when you put a union all obviously it won't remove the duplicate but i just want to show you the output here so you can see here this is from first column this is set is from second column this set is from third column if you see clearly like 3a is duplicate 3a is duplicate 3a is duplicate similarly uh, 2a is also duplicate here right so now we need to just remove the duplicate so instead of union all let us just use union right now you now if you see we just remove the duplicate value so we got this intermediate output from here we just need to convert into a comma separated output right let us give a column alias as let's say c i'm just making this as inner query select id comma c from right now we will just use list aggregation of c we need a comma separated output so let's say within group order by c since list aggregation is a group function we need to say group by id column yeah so this is our output okay so we just got the output since i am using a 19c database this this within group clause is not mandatory so i am just removing however if you are trying in the earlier version please note this is mandatory yeah now we got the output so this is our first implementation let's see one more implementation for the same approach let's see one more method of implementation let's say select star from t so in this method i'm just going to use the lateral join so lateral but the approach is the same approach let's say select column one from dual now if you see we just selected the same column column one but this column one is coming from the lateral part then i will say union select column two from dual okay so same logic as our first query only then again i will say union select column 3 from dual now we just need to remove the duplicate sorry not duplicate we need to convert into list aggregate value so let's say list aggregation of column Let's make it as comma separated from let me give alias as c here let's complete the brace yeah now if you see uh, for row number one we just got all the value a comma b comma c that is our output for row two since a is repeated we are just removing the duplicate value this duplication is removed as part of union keyword and the aggregation is performed as part of the list aggregation keyword now if you see both these queries right like whatever i am showing you both these are the same approach whatever the approach we have seen like here also we are removing the duplicate as part of the union then aggregation we are doing as part of list aggregate here also we are removing the duplicate as part of union and aggregation we are doing as part of list aggregate approach is same but it is two different implementation one using a simple inline view and another using a lateral join okay now let's see one more method or one more method of implementation okay so in the first method what we have seen we have used the columns then we have split into three different query then we have combined the output while combining the output we removed the duplicate then we did the aggregation let's see the second method slightly different methods in this case what i'm going to do i'm starting with the row so the row value we are just going to convert something like this like in this case see in the first case the column value we selected but in this case the row value you can see 1a 1b 1c similarly let's take the second row and convert into multiple row of data like 2a 2b and 2a then 3a 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 now the remaining portion of the logics are same like we need to aggregate this when we when we combine these data we'll remove the duplicate once we remove the duplicate we'll use the list aggregation to produce the comma separated output now let's see how to implement this logic using sql so now let's see the method to let's say select star from t 
So to convert a single row into multiple row of data, I'm going to use the unpivot class. So let's start with select star from unpivot select value for unpivot v for column in let's say column 1 comma column 2 comma column 3 now if you see here we just got the so this is equivalent to the first set like 1a 1b 1c this first set and this is equivalent to 2a 2b 2a the second set that is the second row of output so this portion is the third set that is third rows output now we just need to uh, remove the duplicate and do the aggregation so let us select whatever the columns we need id comma v so what i'm going to do here we can use list aggregation of v of value and then we need to say group by id so you can see it is showing the duplicate values here like in the second row a and a we can use the distinct keyword distinct of v please note that this distinct we can use as part of the list aggregation only from 19c which i have already covered i'll, I'll give you the link at the end of this video so this is the second method of implementation so here is the query for your reference so here is the first method very simple and very easy so the key logic here is we are just using union keyword here to remove the duplicate and list aggregation to make it as a comma separated output same thing we have implemented using the lateral join and the logic is exactly the same the only difference here is we are using the lateral instead of the previous inline join so here also we are just using the same union to remove the duplicate and then list aggregation to convert into a comma separated output okay so the next is the third method but before that please note the lateral join is available only from 12c so if you try this lateral in 11 it will not work okay so here is the third implementation we have seen we have used the um, unpivot class and then list act distinct in fact without uh, list act distinct also you can do but there is a workaround for that so the main thing what we have used is the list unpivot basically to convert a row into multiple row of data and then we are using the distinct to remove the duplicate and then we are using the list act to convert into a comma separated output but please note the distinct keyword you can use as part of the list tag function only from 19c onwards i'll just give you the pointers what and all you can learn as part of this video if you if you haven't used the later join i would suggest you to watch this video because this is available from 12.1 in fact without later join also you can implement the later functionality so there is a workaround which i have covered in the video number 38 of this series and then list aggregation there is lot of syntax change happened from 11g till 19c and with lot of enhanced functionalities i would suggest you to watch this one single video to know all the information about list aggregation function and finally we have used the unpivot class so if you haven't used unpivot till now you can watch this video which will give you an idea like how to convert a single row of data into multiple row of data if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of subscriber question series or as part of interview question series if you are not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video thank you